Hi, my name is Oliver, and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to create animated textures in After Effects. So to get started, we need to find some textures that we can actually use for the project. Now, if you search for free textures on Google, you will find a website such as Pixels. And as you can see, if you search for a texture on the website, there's actually some quite nice ones like this paint strokes. But also there's a lot of them that you can't really use for textures for 2D objects. Now I have found this package of 50 distressed textures from Shutterstock and actually has a lot of what is great when animating. So I'll link to this down below and we can actually get started. Now I have downloaded the pack and when you open it up you can see that you have the flat JPEGs and the transparent PNGs. So you want to use the PNGs. Now there's a lot of different textures as you can see and we have to find something that we can actually use for the project. So this number nine is actually quite great. It has some great grunge and it's a bit subtle and not too much. So if we just drag this into After Effects like this, we can drag and drop, and then we can just create a new composition from the texture. So before we do anything, we actually need to pre-compose this texture to work with it. So we right click the texture, pre-compose, and we can just call it texture. Now this texture is quite big as it's a really good quality. So if you go to composition, composition settings, you can see that it's 4,680 pixels by 6,000 pixels. So we want to work in a lot smaller size because otherwise the render will be really laggy. Therefore, we can change this to something like full HD, so 1920 by 1080. And the background color is white for now, so that's fine. Click OK. And as you can see, we have the texture here. So to actually start working with this texture, we need to apply an effect called motion tile. So if we go to the effects and presets tab, just click and search for motion tile, drag it onto the texture itself. So what this effect essentially does is that it takes the texture and replicates it both in the X and Y axis. And we just have to change the output width and the output height. So we can just go for something like 300 and 300. Now if we take the texture and actually change the scale of it, we're able to see that it's duplicating the texture. Now this looks pretty weird, but when we start to animate this, you won't really notice like the changes in between. So we can just change this back to 100. Now maybe this size is a bit too big for what we're sort of looking for. Therefore we can maybe change it to 75% and that looks just fine. Now to animate the texture, we're going to be working with the tile center. And the tile center is really what decides the sort of center of the tile. So if I change this, it just moves the texture. Therefore, we can just alt click the stopwatch on the tile center. And now we get this expression tab. So we have to do a bit of coding here, but it's actually quite simple. Now the first expression we're going to use is called posterize time. So what this essentially does is that it changes the frame rate of this parameter. So the tile center. So whenever we animate this, the frame rate will be different from the rest of the project. So we want sort of a low frame rate. So it doesn't change too often the texture, like the sort of position. And therefore we can go for something like four, add a semicolon, and we can just go to the next line. Now we want the texture's position to change over time. Therefore we can use the wiggle expression, which is a quite common expression. And we need to type in two parameters here. So the first is the speed of the wiggle, how often or how fast it actually wiggles. And the second one is how much it wiggles. So for the speed, we want something quite fast as it has to actually change a lot. So we go for something like five. And then for the actual position, we don't really want the texture to be shown at like the same position. So it looks the same. It has to look different whenever it changes. Therefore, we'll go for sort of a big number. It could be something like 5,000. Doesn't really matter. Just semicolon this, click out of it. Now we can play back the animation. So what we get here is the animated texture. Now you can apply this sort of method to any texture you'd like. You can also use it as a background and actually there's endless potential with this. And the sort of texture just gives another look to the animation. So it's sort of a different style. And it's all about what you really like or what the client wants. So that's all for now. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and post a comment down below. Tell me what I could improve on or what you actually enjoyed about the video. 
make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to make sure to get notified whenever I upload future tutorials. I'll see you next time.